Wow. When I entered my PhD program 41 years ago, I never imagined that I would be receiving this most prestigious award. I wanna thank my colleagues who supported my nomination and the awards committee for selecting me. Today, I'll talk about gratitude, which interestingly has less to do with the award itself than to the people with whom I am eternally grateful. Gratitude arises when we receive something valuable like this award, but gratitude is a social emotion involving feelings of appreciation, thankfulness, and a sense of indebtedness to other people. As such, this award is dedicated to the people who have made a real difference in my life and to whom I am deeply indebted. As an aside, the images in my presentation are from my home and neighborhood. How grateful I am to live amidst such beauty. This quote, think with deep gratitude of those who have lighted the flames within us, reminds me of my PhD program and the faculty and fellow PhD students who lit this flame. They include Bernie Jaworski, Larry Fike, Jerry Zaltman, Robin Coulter, Chris Mormon, Linda Price, AJ Coley, and C.W. Park. Several others are pictured here, my husband, Alan Weiss, Ann Zaltman, and Sunhi Park. All are dear friends, and some became co-authors. The University of Pittsburgh was one of the most special places I can ever imagine being a PhD student. The faculty were instrumental in expanding my mind, developing my thinking skills, and cultivating my ability to ask interesting research questions. These were some of the best days of my life, and I am so thankful to the people depicted here. It was also here that I learned how scientists work as depicted in this cartoon. And as this cartoon conclusion indicates, we must have had lots of ideas because we had many nights in pubs. My gratitude extends to other people, including my Arizona colleagues who challenged and inspired me and in so doing changed my life. I'm grateful to the late Joe Newman, Melanie Wallendorf, Bob Westbrook, and Jay Mahajan, and the dear Sue Umashankar, who were among the faculty willing to take a chance on me by offering me a job. Soon after, we were joined by Dipankar Chakravarti, Mary Brooks, Kent Nakamoto, Chris Puto, the late Susan Heckler, Jonathan Frenzen, and Helen Anderson. Some of these faculty members had kids of their own who in turn became marketing professors, including Nita Umashankar and Melanie Brooks. When not working on papers, we spent hours going out for lunch and talking about ideas, eating Indian food, and hiking the beautiful Santa Catalina Mountains. It was here that my son and daughter were born. It was also here that I learned all about the stressors and promises of tenure. Moving to the University of Southern California brought into focus other people to whom I am grateful, particularly those depicted here who served as dear friends and co-authors. Shown here are Valerie Folks, Dave Stewart, Jerry Tellis, Joe Priester, Alan Weiss, Goulden Yukumen, Lisa Cavanaugh, Kristen Deal, Antoine Bashara, Rob Kozinets, and Chris Porath. I'm also grateful to my colleagues at other universities, Rick, Wayne Hoyer and Rick Peters, whose work on our consumer behavior book kept me up to date on the literature. The late Erin Anderson served as a mentor before she passed away. There are colleagues with whom I have also worked near and far. I won't name them all individually, but I'm sure people in the audience know them well. I'm also grateful to those co-authors whose disciplinary perspective expanded my thinking. And of course, I owe a debt of gratitude to my academic children who were always a delight to learn from and work with. I learned from all of these people and we all relied on one another in going through the trials and tribulations of peer review. It was not uncommon to get comments analogous to those depicted in this cartoon. My heart, like piglets, is also small 
but it holds a well of gratitude to others. In my time, I've served on a fair number of committees, task forces, editorial positions, and foundations. Those pictured here and those not depicted here warmly embrace me as a member of the marketing academic family, whether our committee work pertained to AMA, ACR, SCP, the Sheth Foundation, and more. These organizations highlighted the importance of our discipline's institutions and the incredible energy and sincerity that these individuals showed to our discipline. They were great mentors. But for me personally, these individuals also helped me foster a sense of connectedness to the field. As a faculty member, I was connected to my own universities, but I always felt most connected to my academic field. I mention this because while service is time consuming, it expands your horizons and increases your sense of inclusion. Although committee work can sometimes seem like a circuitous process and a waste of time, such was not the case with these people. I also owe a debt of gratitude to my women friends and mentors, some of whom are shown here and all of whom made me very happy. There weren't a lot of women in the field back then. Many of us gathered for a special dinner each year at ACR. Sometimes we chose restaurants that were inadvertently frequented by other ACR attendees. Some people wondered whether we were complaining about things in the field, but more often than not, we were talking about the trials, tribulations, and joys of our children, all of whom were roughly the same age. And speaking of friends, I'm so grateful to my friends in Santa Barbara who warmly welcomed us to the beautiful community in which we now live. While none are young, all share the characteristic of being young at heart. Friends make us rich and family increases those riches many times over. I owe a debt of gratitude to my two husbands, both of whom have been my champions and true, true friends, as well as parents. I'm glad that our kids didn't become too screwed up, particularly given the challenges of trying to create some semblance of work-life balance. It brings me great joy to see my son Ryan and daughter Katie, who are now all grown up. My grandson Tommy is particularly adorable and is continually enriched by Ryan and his lovely wife, Stacy. And who can forget Chloe, Lexi, and Mia my furry children. To my mother and father, while my dad is no longer physically with me and my mom is at the gates of heaven, I know that they are with me in spirit. Thank you for all that you have done to support me throughout my life. I could not have asked for better parents. Finally, I'm grateful to have had the luck to land in the discipline of marketing, a field that has allowed me to research ideas that I feel passionate about find my place, and become a center point in my daily life. I'm a very happy person today because I have been able to truly feel and express my deep feelings of appreciation and gratitude to all that of you who are made so much in my life meaningful. Thank you.